Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to show you this time how to extract unique records from a list in Excel. Now I see here that I've got client, date visited, hours, charge, etc. And I'll just quickly point out early in the piece that with an hourly rate of $50, the formula that I've put into uh, this cell is C3, the number of hours, uh, multiplied by $F$2 so that uh, whenever I auto filled that uh, uh, particular formula down it always referred to F2 up here in the in the formula. In other words uh, F2 is an absolute reference to that cell. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to convert this particular set of data to a table and I'm going to click anywhere in the um, uh, in the data and choose insert table. Where's the data? Has headers? Yes. OK. And there I see the uh, drop down arrows etc so that I can filter if I wish. But in this case I want to select the data that has the client names in it and then in the data tab click on the advanced filter command and the list range is correct but I want to copy the uh, range to another location. I'll copy it to G2 and I only want to copy the unique records so when I click OK there are the unique records. I'll now sort those, I'll select those and we'll sort them into alpha ascending order continue with the current selection, don't want to expand anything and sort. The problem I see is that there has been a uh, an incorrect name entered AB limited instead of ABC limited. So the way I'm going to fix that is to click on the uh, on, on the header for the table but I see here that the drop down filter arrows have disappeared to bring those back all I need to do is to click on the design tab take the tick out of header row and then put it back and there I see my um, uh, filter arrows appear again there's a little tip for you if you don't see the filter arrows in a table because sometimes depending on what you've done elsewhere uh, they disappear now I'm going to filter and I'm going to unselect all but just look at AB limited because I know that that should be ABC limited so I'm going to change that to ABC limited and uh, when I remove the filter and select all again and OK there I see ABC limited but it still remains over here as AB limited so what I might do is to remove that um, a set of unique records and go through the same step. I want them to appear in G2. So I'm going to say data, advanced, the list range, yes, A2 to A16, unique records only and copy to the location A2 to A16. OK, and now I see ABC limited AB Limited has now been gotten rid of. What I'd like to suggest here is that instead of typing in these names which leaves things prone to um, spelling mistakes like we just saw, what you could do is to create in selected cells and you can select the entire column if you wanted by going into data, data validation and allow a list. What is the source of the list? There is the source of the list there. Click OK and now you completely avoid any um, uh, sp spelling errors. So let's say that there is another Smith Industries here. Because I converted this data to a table, whenever I add something into a new row Excel automatically expands the the um, table for me so now I can type in a date here we'll say the 18th of April 2013 
uh, we say we work eight hours and there automatically is the uh, formula that appeared up here it's now C17 so that was taken care of automatically and when I press enter there I see now the reason that um, that's appeared where it, where it has is because uh, I only formatted down to those cells initially but what I'll do I'll click in that cell and then go to the home tab the format painter button and click in that cell and that takes care of the formatting in that particular cell. I could of course uh, 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 format uh, prior. So that's how I extract data from a, uh, uh, from a list uh, where I only want to see the unique records. You'll notice that there is a link on this particular video which will take you to the next step where I'll show you how to use formulas to, in, to show me what the totals are uh, for the charges for each of these clients. But that's something for another day. Make sure you've got this one under your belt. And just before we leave, notice that the drop down filter arrows have disappeared. So I click anywhere in the table, go to the design tab, untick header row, and just put a tick back in it. And there we see the filter arrows again. Thanks for watching. And uh, the next video to show you how to add the charges uh, and maybe the hours if you want, uh, I'll show you how to, how to do that. It's really quite simple. We will use a formula or a function called SUMIF. Thank you so much for watching.